Hi there, welcome to the channel. So this is a quick demonstration of hardware encoding with Adobe Premiere using the Ryzen 9 3900X. So what I've already done, and I'll just give you a quick so idea of the timings. So with these two clips, I'll just I'll, I'll show you a real time one with just the one clip just to speed things up. But so here's the two clips with around 25 minutes of footage. Here's in software encoding, like done it in 7 minutes 5 seconds and when I flipped over to hardware encoding it done it in 1 minute 51 so that's a huge increase in how quick it can do things so what we're going to do is we're going to do it with just this one clip which is about 14 minutes long we have already rendered the clip so we'll go to export media and I'm going to take settings for we'll go for Go for a Facebook one because that's where we'll do it. So we're gonna the only thing we're gonna change is hardware to software. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna stop much on. And as you can see I've already done multiple tries with this, so this we'll just call this S1 software test one and software encoding, so we'll just begin that. Bring this up. So, as you can see, the processor is running almost flat out, and the GPU isn't really doing anything. Choosing next to no video RAM. Uh, in fact, I'll put this one in CUDA. So the graphics card is actually doing next to nothing, and the CPU is just doing all the work. This is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU, and from what I've seen on other YouTube videos, anybody that's shown, shown how the hardware encoding works, it's always been an Intel based chip. As in previous versions of Premiere, you had to use the Intel's QuickSync. So you had to have an Intel i7 600 or 6000 plus or whatever. So any sort of chip newer than that works with it as well. Um, but in the recent update to 14.2, uh, you can do it with an AMD processor as well. So I'll just let this run. Four minutes fourteen. Stop that there. Okay, so that was four minutes nineteen. So what we'll do is we'll do it again. This time I'll probably be able to show you in real time. Uh, and I think we'll really need to speed up the footage at this point. So, so notice that the GPU really underused. Um, this has only got 16 gig in this machine, although it has got another 16 getting delivered shortly. And then I'll maybe run the test again and we'll see if it's any quicker. If it's got me around to use that kind of thing. So, there is. We'll go and export again. And the only set we're going to change. It's the hardware. Uh, just call this H1. So let's see, restart that. Um, you can see the graphics card is up to 60%, 72%. It sort of varies a bit there. Uh, the processor's down quite a lot. I see that instead of taking like four minutes, it's literally going to take maybe just more than a minute. This is a lot faster just with this wee update. Of course, it's going to be a huge time saving to people like myself who are doing a lot of video editing. Uh, most of my work's for uh, weddings. Seventy percent at forty six seconds. How much power is the GPU using? It's not really using a lot. Okay, that takes one minute five seconds. So that was a saving of three minutes there. Um 
it might not seem like much, but that is a huge amount of time, especially if you're going to be doing larger files. Um, I mean, this was a 15 minute clip. Uh, most of my wedding videos are about an hour, hour and a half long, so I'm going to save a huge amount of time with this. So, editing effect. I have noticed if you use like the graphics in particular, some of the sort of motion ones, uh, take, take like the gaming background loop, if you put that in, you'll still get a slowdown there. That's normal, but once it passes that part of the clip, it just goes back into full speed again. Uh, but no, it's definitely possible with an AMD processor now, which is a great help, and thanks to Adobe for the update.